This video is brought to you by Play Your Court. Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name is Cam Williams and Novak Djokovic has responded to being withdrawn from the Indian Wells tournament. He's come out on social media and given out a statement. So let's go have a read of what Nola had to say about his withdrawal from Indian Wells. This is what Djokovic had to say over on Twitter. While I was automatically listed in the BNP Paribas Open and Miami Open draw, I knew it would be unlikely I'd be able to travel. The CDC has confirmed that regulations won't be changing, so I won't be able to play in the US. Good luck to those playing in these great tournaments. So you have it. That's what Novak had to say. But before we get to that, let me tell you about Play Your Court. We've teamed up with them this year, and they're a great service. You've probably seen some of their ads here and there around the internet. Uh, they're actually a great service for if you are a tennis player and you want to actually learn how to play tennis. Uh, you can get coaching from them uh, anywhere in the U.S. Or if you're just looking for somebody to have a hit with, that's one of the pet peeves I have with tennis is that it's hard to find a hitting partner unless you want to hit against the brick walls. So we've teamed up with them. If you use our link down below, playyourcourt.com slash tennis talk, you'll get 50% off your membership. So go check it out. Uh, it's a great resource. So Djokovic didn't get CDC approval, which is really what we all were kind of expecting over the last couple of days. It came down to that. It wasn't about Indian Wells or Miami saying yes or no. Uh, they only have as much power as what the Australian Open did at the start of the year. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the governments of the countries. Whether or not they want unvaccinated people allowed into their countries, it's a country by country basis. Some countries in Europe have different rules. America have its set of rules. We all know about Australia's rules uh, after the, what happened in January. So Djokovic is going to find it very difficult to play uh, week to week because we don't know what countries have what regulations. We do know he's playing in Monte Carlo in a couple of weeks time. And also we know that he's probably going to be able to play the French Open and possibly Wimbledon as well. But there's still some tournaments in between that we don't know where he's going to play. And who knows? End of the year, US Open comes up. Might be different regulations then. And maybe he can play at the end of uh, during the US Open and during that US Open series. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Djokovic not having played that much already this year and then, you know, playing almost every four weeks, it seems, or at least one tournament every couple of weeks, is this going to affect his chances of winning slams in 2022? 